Hi, welcome to Nat Chat. My name is Jay Prakash Bhoji. I'm a nature and wildlife photographer. Today, I have a video story for you. I'm kind of new to video, uh, but over the last year or so, I've been trying to do some video stories that I thought were important, uh, especially around primates. So today's story is about a very rare endemic uh, species of an old world monkey from Vietnam. There are only about 200 to 250 individuals globally. So it's kind of important that uh, the habitat be protected. Uh, hope you like the movie. Uh, please leave a comment or a question and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you. As the sun rises, this extraordinary wetland comes to life. One Long Nature Reserve is the largest wetland reserve in Vietnam, located along the northeastern border of Ninh Binh province approximately 85 kilometers south of Hanoi. This is a story of an extraordinary wetland habitat and a species at the brink of extinction. Van Long has rich biodiversity with more than 700 species of both terrestrial and aquatic plants and an astonishing range of flora and fauna. The lakes, streams and canals form an island-like stunning landscape of limestone mountains that is home to the largest surviving population of the Delacos Lango, one of the world's most critically endangered species of primate, with only less than 200 individuals remaining globally. There is no concrete history or record of how these longos got here to the wetland reserve. Research shows that they were first only described in 1932. There was no further information about the species until it was rediscovered in 1987. The Delacos Langa is mostly durinal, the switch between arboreal and terrestrial lifestyles depending on the environment. Like most langors, they leap from branch to branch as opposed to swinging. When on the ground, they walk on all four limbs. For now, they seem to have well adapted to these limestone mountains. While it looks dangerous, they seem to be quite comfortable moving around the edges of these mountains, foraging for food with ease. They spend most of the mornings and evenings feeding on leaves and fruits and sleep as it gets hot through the day in the limestone caves or bare rocky surfaces. About 80% of their diet consists of leaves. Although they eat fruits, seeds and flowers during some seasons based on availability. A few small families occasionally show up on the edges of the limestone mountains in the early mornings and late evenings, mostly feeding on leaves and fruits and sometimes resting and grooming like most lungors and primates do. They have a distinct white patch of fur around their thighs in contrast to the black fur. They look like lungors with white shorts. The Delicos Langa is one of the few mammals in the world that spends much of their time in the caves. Family groups are usually an alpha male and a few breeding females and their offsprings. 
and the rest of the males usually form a smaller all-male group and hang around the periphery of the families, often looking for an opportunity to mate. The babies of the Delicose Langur have bright orange fur for the first four months and gradually change color over a period of time. The people of the one long communes have traditionally relied on paddy rice and fish farming as their key livelihood sources. But the wetland and limestone forest has always offered additional sources of nutrition and the wetland has been reasonably well preserved over the years. Ecotourism with the help of the local communes has played a key role in educating the locals and overall preservation of this unique extraordinary habitat. Over the last decade, Vietnam has become a fast-growing economy and the booming economy has impacted Van Long as well. Growing demand for cement from the construction industry has resulted in large limestone quarries and cement factories around the nearby mountains. This could be detrimental for the Delacos Langor as the demand for cement grows. Mm -hmm. 